Hello, hello, it's your girl Lucy B here with another avatar tutorial. So I had a lot of questions on how to add dance emotes to your avatar and I learned a simple way to do it not too long ago earlier this year and wanted to show everybody. So in this tutorial today, we're going to show you how to simply add new animations, dance emotes and things like that to your avatar. All right, let's just jump right into the video. So first thing that you're going to wanna to do is purchase all of the dance emotes that you'd like to add to your avatar. Sometimes you can get them for free in download sets, but usually they're really inexpensive. So I'm going to be adding this dance emote today. And I'm going to also be adding this a dance emote here too. Aren't they cute? All right, so once you've chosen the dance emotes that you'd like, make sure you purchase them and download them. And then the next thing that we need after we choose our dance emotes is something called VRC Emote Manager. It saves you a ton of time of actually manually animating it. And this is the tool that I use to add dance emotes to my avatar. So all you're going to need to do is download this VRC Emote Manager. I'll leave the link in the description. It's gonna be the very first link. Add that to your cart and download as you normally would. Let's jump into Unity and I'll show you how it all works. All right, here we are in Unity with our Chiffon project. I've added some new outfits for her and a new hair, and let's go about adding the dance emotes. So let's find where we purchased them on our computer. So right now I'm importing the dance animations. All right, now that the dance animations are imported, I'll show you how it looks here in Unity. So look, it's just these animation files. Instead of programming the animation, and toggle manually. Let's go ahead and use our new tool, VRC Emote Manager, to easily install it to our avatar. So let's find that on our computer and import it down into our assets folder here. All right, perfect. I think we're good to go. Let's find it. In order to get the Emote Manager to work, all we need to do is click on our main avatar that we're working on, right click, and then do Create Empty. So I'm just going to name it emotes. You can name it whatever you want. And then go over here to the inspector and add a component. We'll do VRC emote manager. Perfect. And then what we need to do is click on this little plus sign right here. And then find your emote wherever you downloaded. Find the animation file in your assets down here. So it's down here in PHM. We're going to do the Arona dance first. And then just go ahead and click and drag it right into there. And then it looks like it came with two, just the regular dance, a snappy version, and proxy standing. Usually you don't need that. That's if you're animating it manually. Since we're using the Emote Manager, we don't need this, but it is important if you are doing it manually. Let's go back to our game object that we created. I'm going to put the snappy one in there as well just so we have all dances to show you. All right, so it looks like we purchased another dance email. Let's make sure we get that on her as well. So we'll do the love it dance. This one came with full to end. Let's see, intro only, the loop love it dance, and the proxy. I think I'm gonna do these two. I don't think we need just the intro only. I mean, it's up to you. Let's go ahead and click and drag it over here and click and drag it over here. And then you're done. All of the emotes that you purchased are on your avatar and it is good to go. Let's go ahead and test it here in Unity so I can show you what we just did. All right, perfect. Here's our chiffon from earlier. We'll go tools, gesture manager, emulator, expressions. I did add another hair to her and another outfit as well. Isn't it cute? I thought it was adorable. So I'll go ahead and show you the dance animations, expressions, and then it'll be under here, emotes. And you can adjust the volume, play a random emote, and adjust the speed of your emote as well. So say you wanna dance really slow or really fast. And then there it is. It's working perfectly. Awesome, and that's all you really need to do. I mean, it just takes a couple of clicks and you're good to go. See, there's a loop too where it continuously goes.
And then I want to put a different outfit on to test the other one. Let's go ahead and test the other dance. Here we go. It works perfect. And that's all you really need to do to make sure that the dance amounts get on to your avatar and they're all installed properly. So you're good to go. Last thing I'm gonna do is upload her to VR chat and show you how it looks in game, but you should get the picture. All links needed are in the description. If you have any questions, feel free to let me know and I'll see you in VR chat. All right, let's go ahead and test out the emotes in game. All right, so we just go to emotes, go to our emote list and let's do the Arona dance first. It's so silly, I love it. We'll try out the next dance with the new outfit and hair that I added. There we go. It's so cute, I love it. And there you have it folks, a simple quick guide on how to add emotes to your avatar in a super simple, easy way. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to reach out in the comments. Feel free to join the Discord too. This was actually suggested by one of our Discord members, and I was thinking about showing you guys how to do this anyway, so a big shout out to Kiwina who suggested I do this video. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Again, I love all of your comments, feedback, and suggestions in the comments down below. And do let me know what you want me to make next. And if you enjoy the content, feel free to subscribe. I release these videos whenever I have the time to do so. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.